Hello, 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 and welcome to another online race here in Project Cars 2. Today we are racing here in Imola GT3 class. And as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how I can record this without all those apparatus in front of the, the screen. I'm racing this wonderful Porsche number 77 surrounded by Ferraris and McLarens and one isolated BMW there. So let me explain what happened here, okay? It's pretty pretty simple. I qualified third knowing that I had two faster racers in front of me driving faster cars okay good can I beat them? no of course not that's a reality They're, they drive faster than me and they have better cars so what was my plan? I didn't have any, any pit stop to use, you know, in a good strategy to put me uh, in front of them. My, so what I thought to do was simple, really simple. Drive on my pace and be patient. Because we are human beings and one of our characteristics is we make mistakes. Well, this is a rule for everybody. We make mistakes. And another thing that I noticed is that, man, those guys are fast, but they were fighting for position every single turn. You know, when you have two guys driving really fast, fighting for positions in every single turn, and we are human beings, that we can make mistakes, uh, it's obvious that something would happen, right? And that's exactly what I did. I was driving on my pace, I knew that uh, I could be third. They were not as much faster than me. You know? They were not as that fast. As you can see, I'm pretty much following them. Especially because when you were fighting for position, you were not driving your best times. So, uh, you know. My, my strategy was drive on my pace, try to follow them as close as I can, and if they make a mistake, get that chance and pass them. Uh, another thing that I noticed was that um, by lap, uh, this was a 10 laps race. By lap 5, 4 or 5, the first place had a two second, uh, two second penalty. I said, okay, this guy has a two second penalty. I was trying to follow them uh, to, you know, be within this two seconds gap so I could get one position. Smart, right? Yes. And that's what uh, I did. I was just uh, driving on my pace, pushing my limit, not theirs, because they were faster. And that uh, could be for a bunch of reasons. First, they could have uh, better equipment than me. My rig is not that bad, but uh, 
I know that we have better. Uh, sorry, I know that we have better um, rigs. I was talking to Mike, that is a friend of mine, and I told him that uh, it's not that a trust master pedal is bad, but I feel that I need one that is better than the one they offer because I'm not so confident with those pedals, you know? Uh, so that was one of the reasons. Uh, another reason... Man, they can, have, they can be way more experienced than I am. Especially like, if they are part of the group that uh, I raced on previous race, that those guys race online, every single day of the week and uh, in my position I work every single day of the week for example last week I I didn't have opportunity to race a single day the only day I could race these two races were uh, no the only day that I could race these ra two races that I'm showing to you now was Sunday this count, you know, if you were practicing every day, and as more, as more you practice, as better you get. That's the reality. So they could be way more experienced. And another thing, and that is a serious deficiency that I have for the races. For the races. Um, I don't know how to set up cars. I know I need to learn but so far I didn't get any video that explains uh, how uh, uh, how can I say that uh, the videos don't explain to you what those setups do with the car they say oh if you have uh, hard tires you can use this suspension if you have soft tires you can use that suspension but why you know, they, no video explains why we have to do that. I still need to find out a way to learn how to set up cars properly. Because what I'm doing here uh, for this car was... Let me see. I changed the spoilers, front and rear. Uh, I put soft tires because I know that uh, when the temperature is low uh, we can uh, use softer tires and when it's, not, when it's hot you use hard tires and oh the amount of fuel I put the exactly amount of fuel that I need to, to do this race. That's my knowledge in setup in cars. So yeah, <laughs> it's pretty much nothing if compared to all the things that we can adjust on the setup, especially in project cars too. And that could be another factor used in their favor. They know how to set up cars, I don't, and for that reason they are faster than me. They could have better equipment. And finally, they could be way more experienced than me. And on top of that they were driving Ferraris and I was driving a Porsche. That by the way is the two cars I love in my life let's do this I'm gonna be quiet now I'll let you guys enjoy the race and I'll come back at the moment that I need to explain why patience is important
of the race. As you can see, I'm closer to them. You know? Uh, one thing is the first place. Uh, the, wi the white car has a two seconds penalty. They are fighting for positions all the time. And, uh, you know, when we approach the end of the race, as you guys can see here, the fight, the fight is, you know, horrendous. And something happened there to, to make the yellow car being so behind so much behind of the white car so you know that made me to be really close to them and here you can see that they stopped because the white car had a two seconds penalty and I believe that he did something on that turn that uh, made, uh, made him to slow down or whatever and because the, the yellow Ferrari was too close to him, the racer was caught and had to stop not to crash the guy. I was behind, with some uh, time behind, that uh, allowed me to see what was happening and plan my turn better to not be caught like the yellow Ferrari was caught, you know? So I could plan my turn and I could, I could pass them. And in my mind here it is, okay, these guys are faster than me, better equipment, better cars, sorry. But I knew that until this point they were faster than me. From here and to the end, I was faster than them. This is the last lap. What I had to do was just, uh, just race on my pace. And I knew that uh, if I didn't make any mistakes, I would finish the racing first. Can you understand now why patience is everything in some cases awesome i hope you guys enjoying this one more race that i am uploading to you and i hope to have you guys back here for the next race bye